Welcome back to Blockchain Pill, my name is Alex and today we'll see what's been happening on ICP the previous week and as always let's start with the ICP price. Although we had some downward movement, this movement was very well defended here at the $10.50. We had a massive reaction from the bulls buying in and from the people who were sidelined and not impatient like many of you are, they managed to jump into the ICP ecosystem and get their ICPs nice and safe. Welcome to everybody who's new in the community and to the people that complained that they bought at $16 you know it took them like three four days and the price dropped to $11 I want us to look back one and a half years ago and think about what the people that bought in March 2022 when ICP finally hit $15 and everybody was calling the very bottom of the ICP price we can see that because a lot of people bought here at $15 and then it went up to $23.40 and then it took around one and a half brutally Years, brutal brutal bear market and it finally dropped from that $15 to under $3 so I want those people who just joined the ICP community and bought in the last couple of weeks and are maybe down a little bit I, I want to tell them not to worry because the worst is behind us and I want us to put ourselves in the shoes of those who kept DCAing and DCAing and believing in the tech and believing that this is the future of the crypto space if we are to learn something from them is that patience will pay off. I honestly think that the worst is behind us, the bear market is behind us, and although we will see retracements of 20% or 30%, those usually come after a huge move to the upside. What I think is good is that currently the RSI is sitting at a level we've seen it when the ICP price was at around $4, $5, and we saw what a crazy rise it's had. It went up 260% and have a look at this. If we were to repeat this growth of 250, 260 percentages, that would put us at around $38. And have a look at this. This is actually on point where I consider that there is going to be a huge resistance. But if we break this, we have the chance to go into the triple digits and I think everything is going to look even better for ICP. That being said, do not base your financial investments on what I just said. This is, of course, not financial advice and you should study very carefully the things that you put your money into. What I think is interesting to notice is that we are currently sitting on the biggest ever volumes for the ICP price. We've never had this kind of volume ever in the history of ICP. So there is really something happening that maybe we don't know about and we will find out in the next couple of weeks or months. Something is happening. This volume is coming from somewhere. Like we didn't have this volume when ICP launched. We didn't have this volume when ICP bottomed. And all of a sudden we're witnessing volumes that are just crazy. Like we need an explanation for that. And we may just have it in this episode. So make sure you watch it until the end. Usually what happens when a coin pumps like ICP pumped, a lot of people who invested early now have a bunch of money and they're looking to make even more money. And what do they do? They go and search for meme tokens inside the ecosystem. So we've seen a lot of this volume flow into the meme tokens of the ICP ecosystem. And we've seen crazy volumes and returns that are comparable to those on Ethereum or Solana. So the biggest meme token in the ICP ecosystem is the first meme token called Ghost. And not only is Ghost the first meme token on ICP, it is also the biggest one and the only one which is actually a DAO. So it decentralized via the SNS built by Definity for the Internet Computer Protocol. And it is currently one of the 16 DAOs on ICP. But there are some other meme tokens as well, which have gotten very good traction. Windoge, which is a very funny token. And this also had an explosive growth and the market cap is only just under $4 million. Another one is an OG meme token called Dogme. This is not the full graphic. This was only added to this coin tracker a couple of days ago. It's sitting on a little over 1 million market cap. For some reason, we are seeing a common theme on the Internet Computer Protocol as well, where dog meme tokens are the ones blowing up. I don't know why the crypto people seem to be in love with dog tokens. Besides meme tokens, all the projects on the ICP ecosystem have seen steady growth together with ICP. We love to see projects doing well. And if people from outside ICP see that there are great returns to be made inside the ICP ecosystem, they will come here and they will start and investing in those projects, which will in turn bring liquidity and, you know, the much needed capital for 
the projects to keep developing, which is something that I love. It is great news for the ecosystem. Also, ICP NFTs are starting to catch up. And while we haven't seen a lot of volume go into ICP NFTs, the volume that is going into the NFT ecosystem is flowing into the big, big blue chips. And here I'm talking about the Motokos, the Pokebots and the BTC flowers. And what I want to see is this volume starting to dribble down and go into the larger NFT ecosystem. Sonic announced that we'll soon be able to use the DEX on mobile as well as access Sonic V3 swaps when the Bitfinity network launches later this month. The DEX announced that a centralized exchange listing is incoming and asked the community to pick one of the options from the poll and we picked KuCoin since I think that is the biggest one of the three. However, one of the options was all of the above so who knows what Sonic has planned for the community. And I think it is very great news that we're finally starting to see ICP ecosystem tokens getting listed on centralized exchanges. You can now trade most of the ICP meme tokens on Sonic as iDoge, Windoge and Dogme. Some of the leading ICP meme tokens have added significant liquidity to the Sonic DEX. Since meme tokens are starting to get massive traction, let us know if you want us to make a beginner's tutorial on how to buy meme tokens, a guide from zero to hero, so that you can take part in this massive altcoin run that we're seeing in the ICP ecosystem. So let us know in the comment section below if you would be interested in that. And also any questions that you may have so that we're sure to cover it in the episode. For some reason, this massive news, which may be one of the reasons why the ICP price bottomed and then did this huge pump, it flew under the radar. The reason why this happened, ICP influencers only just now picked it up and that's how we also found out about it. At the end of November 2023, this article broke the news on all the crypto outlets out there. And apparently Valor Inc., which is a subsidiary of DeFi Technologies, is going to launch a physical backed exchange traded product or ETP for the Internet Computer Protocol token. An ETP is a financial product traded on traditional stock exchanges that represents the value of a particular asset or group of assets, in this case, the ICP token. So listen, we're kind of getting our own ICP ETF, which may be one of the reasons why we've seen such an explosive growth for the ICP token. I'm sure that there are key differences between an ETP and an ETF. So if it doesn't have anything to do with one another or if it's not similar, let us know in the comment section below. The article goes on to explain what ICP is and that the ETP price will be linked to the underlying asset, which is ICP. This partnership between Valorink and the Definity Foundation aims to provide investors with simplified access to digital assets like ICP because we all know how difficult it is to buy crypto with fiat. Poke Studio has released an animation depicting Delta City, possibly an in-game area for the NFT collections that they launched. For the people who are new to the ICP ecosystem, Poke Studio is a very successful creative agency focused on illustration, brand design, and animations founded by Jonathan Ball. Few people know this, but John is the artist behind the iconic Definity logo, as well as a few blue chip NFT collections like Poked Bots and Motoko Ghosts. I recommend you go check out his work as he is an outstanding artist. ICP canister capacity will increase to 400 gigabytes. A Definity team member wrote, we did more testing with 400 gigabytes of stable memory and the tests were successful. Definity plans to propose in an upcoming replica version to increase from 96 gigabytes to 400 gigabytes. More increases are planned later this year. So if you thought 96 gigabytes of memory for a canister smart contract was a lot. Well, think again. Now we're looking at 400 gigabytes and even more in the future. If you are not aware, the Definity Foundation offers developer grants to teams that want to build on the Internet Computer Protocol. And those grants range from 5,000 to even $100,000 depending on the size and scope of your project. We'll leave a link to the grants program in the description below. It's going to be the first link you click. So if you have a cool idea for an application that you want to build and host on chain, you now have the chance to get funded. So if you or one of your developer friends want to do it, I recommend you check out the Definity Grants. Multiple SNS projects have added more liquidity to various ICP DEXs, which is a great start. The projects that have added liquidity are ICP coins, tracks, BoomDAO and ICX and I think that the timing is perfect since many ICP projects are starting to get listed on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap and if we want new people to come into the ecosystem and to be able to invest in those projects, we want them 
to have enough liquidity on various ICP DEXs. So this is great news. And I think that all other projects should follow this example and start adding liquidity for the community to be able to swap their tokens. Kinnik announced that they are working on improving its AI, LLM and RAG models and that they have code running on the IC, which will soon be made open source once it's tested and improved. In the post, they also mentioned that after they make some more progress, they will begin the marketing phase, which is always great. More eyes on the ICP ecosystem is more than welcome. And I think that we will be surprised at how much attention ICP will be getting, both because of the price of ICP appreciating, but then the attention that we get is going to be from the projects building on ICP. And that's when we're gonna see an exponential growth, maybe in the ICP price. We did a podcast with the founder of Kinnick and you can check it out here. And I recommend you check it out because we discussed a lot of interesting things about ICP and about on-chain AI and the benefits of it. All in all, I am extremely bullish and extremely positive on ICP and on the crypto markets. And I think that our patience will be rewarded. We'll be here to keep you guys updated. And with that, we're done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.